Hello, my name's Jalice. Welcome to the now the Fear the Walking Dead season two review. Another rant. So after I finished Fear the Walking Dead season one, I decided to watch Fear the Walking Dead season two. And like I said, you could totally skip season one. Season two is way, way, way better than season one. Season one is a D plus this season. I'm gonna give the score right now a B minus. It was actually, I actually enjoyed some of the things. Some of the, the least I could grade this is a C plus. But either way, coming from a D plus, that is pretty dang good. What do we get? Um, more the usual stuff. Some of the main characters, like Madison, I do not enjoy. Chris, do not enjoy. I do not. What I love about Fear the Walking Dead season two was the locations. I love that they went on a boat. That Abigail, that they were on there for a good five episodes. I enjoy that aspect. I enjoy to see the little underwater stuff with the zombies. I enjoy to see the ones where how people are deal across the border, how they have to like pay up and how they have to get across. I enjoy that stuff. I like the water scenes with the boat. And I like the mystery of Strand and this character and his relationship with the people in uh, Mexico and who's there waiting for him. And what I do not like about Feeder Walking Dead season two, like after like the sixth episode, we get the mystery of who Strands comes to see. Who is he going to see? And they kill off that character in the same episode. We get a different character who is hoarding zombies because she believes they are family. So, walk into season two with Herschel again. Granted, Herschel snapped out of it. This woman never snapped out of it. So, Strands' entire plot line of his mystery of his character is totally gone out the woods. Um, one other character that I really did enjoy... Which is uh, Daniel Salazar. That's the guy's name. I called him the Mexican guy in season one. But uh, Daniel Salazar, interesting character. Really enjoyed him. He was one of the better ones. I loved his relationship with Strand. He was always watching him. And Strand's like, you're, you're hovering over me like death, old man. And I just really liked uh, Salazar's character. Granted, how they... What they did with his character this season, I did not appreciate. I did enjoy Chris's character. and uh, Not Chris's character. Nick's character a little bit more. He's finding himself more into the ways of zombie. He's using the guts of the zombies to carve himself up. He's technically getting his new high. And he's a lot different. He doesn't see the zombies as bad P. He doesn't see them alive or dead. He finds them in between. And I really enjoy his character. What I did not enjoy was Chris's progression from blaming his father for the death of his mother, becoming a serial killer, becoming like and killing and all that stuff. It's just a complete 180. Madison's character's all over the place again. She tells uh, Travis one thing and does the opposite. The characters and moralities of these characters just shift every single episode. Like, just stick to one way of who you are as a person. But they keep flipping back and forth. There's a lot of hypocrisy with this. It's like if Rick Grimes in season two was like, the, the, we don't, or season one, we don't kill the living. And the next episode, he kills the living and he keeps killing the, the, the living. You get what I'm saying. It takes character progression, and later on, the character changes. That's the beauty of Rick's character. Madison's character and a couple other characters just flip around. Um, I did not like, again, the re re uh, rehearse of the the rehash of having zombies are not evil. Do we have a horde of zombies in this one place? Did not enjoy that. Did not enjoy the fact that he went to like four different locations in this one season. You went from a boat to the Mexican place that you're at. And then you go to this little mansion at Mexican place, and then you got the um. Then you go from the Mexican place to like the hotel, and you switch out of the hotel. Then you're on your own, across the border. I did not like that. I stick to one, or stick to at least two locations. But no, it goes overboard. Illogical decision again. These characters are like the people from Alexandria terrible don't know nothing how to survive they leave a million dollar boat lying around that still works good to go on land why do we have to see more of the land why are you going to imagine that it's safe when it's clearly not safe when you see zombies are in the house and the people is hoarding because they think they're family you go back on the damn boat but again logic and real uh, logic and motives and basically common freaking sense does not exist in fear to walk in that season two like how it didn't exist in season one again the second half of Walking uh, Feet are Walking Dead season two is a, is a, a pretty much better. Um, Chris character finds a community where a guy's not bitten and he's formed a thing. I like how the things with the whole Mexican gangs are like have all the drugs and you have to 
but like trade and all that stuff in order to get something. And I really did enjoy that fact. I enjoy like certain characters like the hotel stuff uh, that was happening. But the thing is though that they get rid of these characters so quickly it's just impossible to enjoy. Travis character does a good progression. I enjoy it's just a lot of stuff. When you think Fear the Walking Dead is starting to get its mark, it just disappears again. When you think they're going to do something, like when Madison does a great, smart thing, a female main character, and you're thinking, this is a change for a character, she's going to do something good. And then the next episode, she does the most stupid, idiotic thing to leave the lights on, on purpose, to find her son in a hotel, like a big thing, and she, it alerts everybody to the hotel. That's the logic of the scenes. There is no consistency with these characters. If they do good, then they fall back later on. They do a good thing, then they'll do a bad thing later on. And they, people say Madison's like the female version of Rick Grimes. No, she is not. She is a terrible survivalist. And she's the Andrea of The Walking Dead. That, that's pretty much it. I do not enjoy Madison's character. I like the character Alicia a lot more. The first half, she made a stupid decision. Then again, the writers of this entire show is doing crappy, crappy things for all these characters. And when they show progression, they take it back a notch. So the writers for Fear the Walking Dead, to me, still suck. This TV show is nowhere near as good as Walking Dead. And it should never have been a spinoff since Walking Dead is using every single idea for the zombie apocalypse. But Fear the Walking Dead Season 2, I enjoyed like the bold aspect. like some of the character progression for Travis and for Alicia. And even for Nick's character. You could totally skip season one. If you never saw season one, you'll like Nick's character a lot more. But since I still see him as this annoying kid that literally took the IV from dying people just to get fucking high. Fuck him. And yes, he's better in season two. Yes, he's a great character progression. But overall, this entire show is still not a good TV show. It's a B- minus now. It went from a D uh, plus to a B minus. So that's pretty good. So I'm starting off with Fear the Walking Dead uh, Season 3. Hopefully it will be better than all the others. And I started the first episode. And the first episode was the first episode that I say deserved an A. So that shows a lot to what Fear the Walking Dead Season 3 so far is doing. But overall, Fear the Walking Dead Season 2, Bumpy Ride, Terra is still not a great show to me. It went from a terrible show to an okay show. So Season 2... Still doesn't make you a great TV show. Still doesn't make me want to watch the next one. But overall, Fear the Walking Dead, I have seen it. Season 2. And my personal opinion is, not that great. B-. minus. But let me know what y'all think, everyone. Subscribe if you like. Discord and only. Comment below. Let me know. Respect my opinion. I respect yours. Let me know what y'all think, everyone, of Fear the Walking Dead Season 2. And th please tell me how much more you enjoyed it more than Fear the Walking Dead Season 1. That god-awful piece of shit trash season. So yeah, everyone. That's my personal opinion. Alright, everyone. I'm Jaleesa. I'm going to everybody. Bye-bye.